Hi, one best VR videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Friday, January 29th. We are previewing a handful of games from the Saturday card that have been assigned to us with Jeff from BMOCMoves.com. Our regular viewers from college football know who he is, and no doubt we're impressed with his uh, winning record overall in college football with us. Great analysis. And right now we're going to cover Iowa State, Texas A&M. There's no line, unfortunately, uh, out right now for this game. It's a Big 12 SEC challenge game. Uh, Iowa State, though, Jeff, I've been high on them, of course. They're a, they're a senior, they're, they're, they're an upper Classman laden team and a quality team. They've covered their last four in a row. Uh, they're four and one ATS on the road. You know, Texas A&M also a strong team, but they haven't been covering recently. Texas A&M, I'm assuming, is going to be a favorite here. How big of a favorite, I don't know. But uh, my initial lean right now, without knowing what the line is, is that as an underdog, I'd be like in Iowa State. What do you think? I would agree with you. I think that with the rare emotion you're getting from this team right now, you have to play them if they're an underdog. Yeah. This Texas A&M team, I mean, look, I know that um, you know they've looked good all year. They've been very good defensively. But, you know, the other night I, I was a little bit – disappointed in their effort mm -hmm. against Arkansas. I thought, sure. hey, you got to go on the road and beat Arkansas. I don't care what the situation is. But you look at Iowa State, kind of weird. They've only had five road games all year. So that's kind of interesting. Throughout the years, they've had trouble on the road. But with the emotion they have right now, with the way they can score right now, and defensively, they played pretty well over the last five games. Only one team, which was Oklahoma, had over uh, one point per possession. So this team has played uh, pretty well on the defensive end. It's all going to be about will Jamil McKay play. That's probably why the line's not out. Yeah. Um, he, he's big for that offense. But with the way they're playing right now, um, they've been better defensively. I think you got to back them if they're in a dog spot here. You might also um, want to look to the under. Both mm -hmm. these teams, like I said, in particular, Texas A&M has been very good defensively. Real quick, Peter, mm -hmm. uh, Texas A&M, Baylor, Zags, LSU, all were held under 62 points mm -hmm. against uh, Texas A&M. So they're pretty uh, damn uh, stout on the defensive end themselves. Yeah. So maybe look to the under, but I would go with Iowa State if they're in a dog role, which I think they will be here. All right. Well, as of right now, unfortunately, we have no line, so we can't give a pick on this one. But uh, I'm agreeing with you. We'll see what the injury status is uh, uh, when when, the, when it comes out and what the line is. Uh, Texas A&M, though, 2-4-1 and one against the spread over their last seven. Thanks so much for your insights. Jeff from BMOCMoves.com.